The recently concluded ANA Avatar X Prize Technology Contest with $10 million prize fund aims to catalyze a new phase in robotics development and various other innovative ideas and technologies. A vast number of teams from different countries participated, competing to showcase the most technologically advanced robot avatar. One of the most interesting and promising developments was brought by the Japanese team Janus, a joint team based on the Japanese and French laboratories JRL and LIRMM. The staff of these laboratories have extensive knowledge and experience in creating humanoid robots. For their avatar, the Janus team uses a bipedal gynoid robot called HRP-4C, also known as the Robot Girl Meme. This robot was previously developed by AIST in collaboration with Kawada Industries. HRP-4C is considered one of the most humanoid robots among existing humanoid robots worldwide. It has a natural gait, can effectively manipulate objects and can recognize facial expressions. The robot impressed both the jury and the general audience interested in high technology. The winner of the $10 million prize fund XPRIZE Avatar Contest was the NIMBRO team from the Autonomous Intelligent Systems Group at the University of Bonn, Germany, with their remotely controlled robot project operated through VR glasses and an exoskeleton. Their prize of $5 million is comparable to a substantial investment round and could serve as a springboard for creating a major company. The NIMBRO robot features five fingered hands and its head is mounted on a robotic arm, allowing for freedom of movement. The operator uses virtual reality glasses, and the exoskeleton transmits the movements of the operator's arms and fingers, with the correct force providing tactile feedback. The machine underwent a test in which it had to remotely complete 10 tasks, including activating a switch, using a drill to open a door, and identifying objects of various textures and weights. The NIMBRO team completed the task in 5 minutes and 50 seconds. American Engineer has developed a robotic hand with capabilities similar to a human hand. This highly dexterous robotic hand is lightweight, making it suitable for mounting on a robot's body. The robotic hand operates on a lever-driven mechanism that allows it to move like a human hand. The engineer began his work by studying existing robotic hands, analyzing their strengths and weaknesses. He then compiled a list of desired features for the new hand, including sufficient fingertip strength, high controllability, low cost, and high maneuverability. Researchers described the system as an anthropomorphic hand with integrated dexterity. It has five fingers, each with three movable joints, with sensors being placed at the fingertips. The hand measures only 22 centimeters in length and weighs about 1.1 kilograms. It includes 20 joints and can exert a force of 34 newtons. The scientist has created several videos demonstrating the capabilities of the robotic hand. Engineers from the University of Tokyo have released a video featuring their humanoid robot Musashi sitting in the driver's seat and operating a 2012 Toyota comms electric vehicle. The researchers aim to present an alternative future where you don't need to drive your car, not because it drives itself, but because a robot is at the wheel. Musashi is a musculoskeletal humanoid developed by the research team in 2019 as a testbed for control system training. Musculoskeletal in this context means that the robot accurately mimics an average human not only in height and weight, but also in body structure. In the humanoid's head are two high-resolution video cameras, one for each eye, which can move similarly to human eyes. Its five-fingered hands turn the steering wheel according to the training software and sensor data, and can also engage the handbrake, turn the ignition key, and operate the turn signals. The robot's nimble feet can press the brake and accelerator pedals as needed. The project team has equipped the vehicle with a Wi-Fi router, and an Intel NUC personal computer, which runs a module for image recognition of the surroundings and a servo motor. In the future, all this technology is expected to be integrated into the humanoid robot's body. Which would you prefer? A car with no steering wheel and an autopilot, or a humanoid robot at the wheel of your car?
New humanoid robots are appearing almost every week, and some of them are already being mass-produced. However, these are just bodies. To make them useful, systems that allow them to be easily trained for new tasks are necessary. Last week, researchers presented several approaches that they demonstrated on the affordable humanoid platform H1 from Unitree Robotics Company. Stanford engineers showcased how the Human Plus system works, enabling robots to learn new movements and autonomous skills based on videos of people. Specifically, the researchers first conducted reinforcement learning for low-level policy in a simulation, using data on human movements collected from 40 hours of video. Then they transferred this policy to the real world, allowing humanoid robots to track human body and hand movements in real time using only an RGB camera. The robot then imitated human actions, and people could correct its movements as needed through teleoperation. Engineers from Carnegie Mellon University's Soft Robotics Laboratory also shared their research with the same robot. They introduced Omni H20, a system for teleoperation and autonomous full-body humanoid robot control based on learning. It uses the human kinematic pose as a universal control interface. This allows controlling a full-sized humanoid robot in various ways, including real-time teleoperation via a VR headset, verbal instructions, and an RGB camera. After training through teleoperated demonstrations, Omni H20 enables the robot to operate autonomously. Additionally, the system can be connected to GPT-4. The engineers also presented Wokoko, which stands for Whole Body Contact Control. This system is based on reinforcement learning, a trial and error learning method. The results achieved with Wokoko using the H1 robot from Unitree Robotics include various jumps, clapping, moving boxes, and other tricks. The Chinese company Unitree has demonstrated the development process of their latest creation, the robotic dog Go2. This robot attracts potential customers with its low price of $1,600, which sets it apart from competitors like Spot from Boston Dynamics, priced at $75,000. Standing 40.6 centimeters tall, 68.6 centimeters long, and weighing 15 kilograms, Unitree Go 2 boasts impressive features. It is equipped with a camera, flashlight, and a 360-degree rotating LiDAR sensor. Additionally, the robot dog is powered by 12 motors, three on each leg, allowing it to maneuver smoothly on various surfaces and perform tricks similar to those of a real dog. An 8,000 mAh battery provides the Unitree Go 2 with a decent 1 to 2 hours of autonomous operation. With a maximum speed of 2.5 meters per second, the robot can navigate complex terrains, including stairs and rocky surfaces. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like. See you next time.